Hi, welcome back. Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to show you how to format financial numbers in Excel using accounting, currency, and comma formats. We'll also use the total row cell styles to add drama. All right, so really quickly, the three way, main ways to um, format in a cell uh, when you're doing a financial are with currency, accounting, and comma. So I wanted to show you the difference. Right now, all these numbers are in general. Um, if you go to the Home tab, Number box, general is what you type in as. But we want to make them look financial. So with currency, I'm going to select that down here. Uh, you have to use the drop-down box for currency. And there, you could see it right there. Underneath, I'm going to do accounting. Now, accounting, you could either do off the drop-down box or there's the dollar sign right here. So a little bit of a quick access tool. All right, and finally, we have comma. Same thing with comma. We could do the drop-down or we could just click on the comma right here. Now we can see the difference in stylings. Currency centers the number and it also puts the dollar sign right next to it. Uh, standard accounting format puts the number at the right, the dollar sign at the left of the cell. Comma is similar to accounting except it doesn't have the dollar sign. Also, for negative numbers, um, the accounting format is to put the number in parentheses. All right, so let's format the table. What's considered cool is, and to keep the clutter down, all the numbers within the table we're going to use comma format. Now for my total rows, and I'm going to hold down the control button so I can do non-adjacent numbers, we use accounting. So you can see it doesn't have clutter in the middle, but makes our totals nice. And the final thing that we're going to do here is add a cell style. So home tab, uh, cell styles, hit the drop down box, in this format called total. Total makes the totals pop because it has a line above, two lines below, and turns everything um, bold. All right, so thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.